been an artist for as long as I can remember. I lived uh, in Rome for a year and then moved to New York after I graduated from college. And six years after that, I came here to Colorado. Okay. Well, this exhibition is called Garden of Eden, and the inspiration started with the actual space of Emanuel Gallery being in a former church. The location of the gallery at the confluence of the uh, two rivers in Colorado where Denver had its origins also good, brings this to mind, this idea of an origin myth. At one time it was considered that the Garden of Eden and Paradise were very close and that because of our, our human evils and wrongdoings that it, they became separated. So I'm also thinking of this idea of a return to a paradise at the time when things were just more relatable and more understandable and better for humans. I'm also sort of interested in the idea of the Garden of Eden as, as an environmental idea. The fact that we're changing our climate, that humans have caused some damage to the environment. I want to acknowledge that there was once a very beautiful environment here before that happened and that we need to think about that and um, respect the part of the world that is still beautiful and, and to acknowledge its existence and to preserve it and protect it for the future. The large painting in the main gallery is called The Two Trees and there were two main trees in the Garden of Eden and they are talked about in the Bible. One was the tree of life and the other one was the tree of knowledge of good and evil. The diptychs refer to the idea of there being four rivers in the Garden of Eden and there's four paintings that reflect this. And the four rivers that were in the Garden of Eden were the Euphrates, the Tigris, the Gishon, and the Pishon. And they correspond to the four paintings in the main gallery that have, these, that have this division. I have to say, all of these paintings were designed with the space in mind. Um, I went to the gallery multiple times, measured, had plans drawn up. I wanted to make sure the paintings would work with the architecture. Um, the reason for that being is that I've always wanted to have a show in a church, so this is a wonderful uh, opportunity. And the other one is that I, having spent a year in Italy and visiting many, many churches, I was always struck by the way the architecture and the art were combined in one, in one statement almost, one, one story. It didn't, what, one didn't sit on top of the other, it was all intercombined. And um, I especially remember the beautiful striped churches of Siena and Orvieto. And, um, and I loved how the paintings would be so colorful on top of the stripes and create this very vivid experience, almost like a spectacle of sorts. There's lots of detail, lots of passages that hopefully create a feeling of, um, of sort of curiosity and, um, and to sort of catch your eye with the movement of color and light across the surface. There's, there's a lot of things I would want someone to get from my work, although I don't expect anyone to get anything in particular, but I would hope that people would come away with, or at least approach the work, First of all, with the whole environment as sort of a feeling of awe or a spectacle or wonder, um, much the way you would feel if you arrived in, in the you know, Rocky Mountain National Park at this amazing you know, landscape. Um, it's a created landscape, it's a manufactured landscape. It's almost like the gallery itself becomes a walled garden and you are entering into this space where things are glorious and, and prolific and, and um, full of life. So I'm, that's what I'm doing with these. I'm trying to celebrate life and look towards the future in a, a hopeful time and remember the past as well.